whole thing. My other replay, uh, this one, this shot is a little bit sloppy. I didn't have as much time with them, but I'm still gonna show it uh, because uh, the principle is the same. I still got the hole in one. But the other replay, yeah, play them make. I don't know how many years you are going to <laughs> go on without fixing this these replay bugs. Anyway, I'm playing with side spin free and win five ball, and I'm looking to have setting up free right spin, and then I am looking to have. It's not zero point nine. I add one click after I took the picture a bit too soon, uh, but yeah, I don't want to miss it, so I'm going with this. Uh, I'm removing clicks, I'm adding one bar of backspin, and then I'm slowly moving upwards and removing clicks. You see on the ball, even though the bar doesn't move, you see on the ball that it moves upwards. So you can actually have more or less spin without you even realizing it because you don't see it on the bar so that's a good way or a good thing to know about anyway so i'm looking at the ball moving up like tiny movements and as soon as i see the bar change and reduce like one click below one click it, it's actually more clicks because if the ball moves i'm guessing the shot the spin moves anyway i'm looking for the spin, uh, the bar to a tiny bit getting removed. As soon as I see it like removed, so 0 0.95 backspin, I would say. Uh, then I stop. And what I'm looking for is I'm zooming out so I'm getting more like overview, a bit, little bit from, from, oh, there I took it wrong. So I'm get like uh, so I'm gonna turn off the, the, the uh, yes so I'm moving the white ring along the rough. so I can paint so I'm moving I'm looking for the white ring to be you don't want it to overlap that's why you gotta zoom out if you have it all the way zoomed in uh, you will have the camera like lower down in a more flat angle so you want to see it as well and you risk having the white ring going into the rough so zoom out a bit a little bit so you get this overview and then I'm looking for the white ring to touch the rough, not go into the rough. And I'm also looking for when the ball guide, it will click in place. So I'm looking for the click left of when the ball guide goes in the bunker, the second bounce. Maybe you saw from the other picture, uh, which I took first. But as soon as the second bounce goes from going in the rough or like bend to hitting this and go here, I stop. This is to get extreme consistency because this hole is, that's why I use wind five. It's very, very difficult hole. So this is definitely the best way, in my opinion, to <coughs> get uh, consistency Ooh, wait, yes yeah. thought i had 1201 but no and there's different wind angles uh th there might be three or three uh, three like areas uh, it's like this you have like a hold on you have like a more crosswind that is in this area. I'm looking at the center line always. 
uh, and watch the background. <coughs> so you have <coughs> you have the more crosswind, <coughs> and you have the more tailwind, which is in this direction. Now, for the crosswind, when I started first, I dropped the crosswind one without curl. Uh, so my thought was the tailwind, because it doesn't push as much. Yeah, because it doesn't push as much to the left, but rather uh, like forward. Uh, I had to use left curl, but I changed the elevation. And now I do left curl with the crosswind. But I haven't gotten the tailwind yet. I have dropped this two times. Uh, now, in three shots. Uh, but the tailwind, since it's less of a push, my recommendation is that you add a little bit extra curl if you get that one. If you get the crosswind, you add just a few clicks. Now I did this a bit sloppy, I think, with the curl, because I had little time, but I'm still going to show this replay. Uh, so, I changed elevation. I played 35% max, power 4, but now I play 30% max, power 5. Yeah. Perfect shot. I don't know if you saw, but I had a little bit left curl. So you're always going to have left curl, and that's because even when I change the elevation, it will still come in and roll to the right of the hole. You see, I still almost miss. Holy this one. shot was before I changed the elevation. If you see here, 8.6 before I played like this 8.7. So with this elevation, it would be great. And I have tried several times. So, so yes. Uh, that's the setup. If you get crosswind, you add a few clicks of left curl. If you get the tailwind, you will probably have to add more left curl, like two clicks. I don't know. The thing is, this is not a hole, especially in a mini tournament, that is worth spending too much time on. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not probably gonna do a video where I dropped the tailwind one. So you have to go from this. But this should be a good base for you. So max plus 30% sniper 10 numbers, of course, uh, power five. And you set up so you have your add spin, free right spin, 0 0.95 back spin. I'm adding one bar, <coughs> one bar back spin and moving in tiny small movements up until I see a little bit of the bar disappear, like a small piece as possible. Uh, then I set up the position, white ring, touching the rough, I zoom out a little, so I get the good overview and not have white ring in rough, but just touching. Looking at the second bounce of the ball guy, uh, having it in the bunker, and I move a tiny bit left until just where the second bounce not goes in the bunker, you will see it, like I showed you. Uh, so yeah, that's hole two breakdown. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you miss or if you get the tailwind angle and you found another way to drop it or yeah. Also a little extra, uh, I would. <coughs> I mean, it's not only the wind angle that changes the shot and how much it pushes to the left or forward or right. It's also the wind strength. Uh, so if you have wind five ball and you get the lowest, like, what is it, 4.5? Maybe? Or is that pro? Anyway, if you get below 5. say 5.3, 5.4, change to wind four ball you want to keep it between 5.4 and 
6.3. Maybe 6.2. So yeah, hold two. Good luck.